Welcome back to VTide and this video marks the release of the open source version of Steam integration kit. I'm pretty happy with that and uh, the plugin has received good amount of reviews and is doing pretty well. So let me just tell you about the difference between this and the version that is on marketplace. It's basically you don't receive any updates related to the online subsystem Steam and um, you will be missing some editor modules basically like one click deploy and stuff like that and that's because it requires the sdk to be the latest one and with the open source version we are using uh unreal's steam um oss so like the operating i'm saying operating system i don't know what's going in my mind but unreal's online subsystem steam plugin is used as a base for the open source version whereas we have our own modified version of that uh, online subsystem steam in the case of the marketplace version so that's the basic difference and that helps us to use custom sdks and uh, provide more features in the marketplace version but whatever was feasible with the uh, version coming with the engine we have done that that's open source don't worry about that you will be able to call each you will be able to do any call that you would have been able to do with uh, the marketplace version other than you just need to build it yourself and stuff like that so let's get it started i just created a new project and nothing else i have done yet so what do i need to do i need to open this project uh, in content browser and before that just add a new c++ class this just needs to be an empty c++ class so that we can build the plugin ourselves so let's just wait for it to add the project add the files to the project and it's done so i will be using visual studio code so let's close the project and before that just open it in content browser and now we can just close the project um yeah here it is close the project and create a new uh, folder named plugins now in this plugin folders we need to open the command prompt so that we can clone the plugin here so just write cmd in the bar or you can just open command and go to this folder size and type git clone and then on the plugin which is private as of now just copy this https path and paste it here so git space clone space the plugin uh, file name and you will have the file plugin here now right click and just generate visual studio files for your project and then open this dot um, sln file in visual studio visual studio if you are using rider well and good use that but as of now because most of us would be using visual studio um, let's use that I think so it it has loaded but the window layout is yeah let's huh so now right click SIK test project and press build ting 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 yeah the build was successful uh, don't worry that file I just opened to check something but now double click and open the project now if you have not enabled a specific plugin this will crash um, you will get a crash lock let me reopen it and show you um, on my second screen it crashed and I'm just showing you why it crashed. So you can see it has a crash in host migration. So what you need to do is open the U project file in, uh, what do we say? Notepad or any software that you use. This is because the online subsystem Steam plugin is used by the marketplace version and that is disabled by default. So we need to enable that plugin. If you, if you like uh, do it after this, you can even enable it when we were adding the C++ file, empty C++ file, but um, I forgot to do that then. So just enable it now. So true. And that should be it. Let's save this and reopen the project. Oh shit, I closed the folder itself. Give me a second. Ding, 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 ding. Hmm. Background music is nice, right? Yeah, here is. So now double click and open up the U project file. And the project is open. Now in the plugin section, you will find the BDID Studio under Steam integration kit. I also have ELDEVS plugin, uh, but that is of Cognito. I, I don't know why I told you that, but I just told you that. Huh. So Steam integration kit is enabled now and is available for you to use. Uh, just configure it and use how you would have used the marketplace version the tutorial for setting it up is still the same you can follow the last video that we released and that is still the valid video you just need to set up the configuration and that is it now meet you in the next one it's coming today itself bye